us right yep. now. Feast or famine? You know, it's got to be raining somewhere if it's really dry here, right? Well, unfortunately, we are very dry at this point. Did see a few showers and thunderstorms earlier today, but it's really no longer the case. Now this was last hour. You can notice a couple of showers and thunderstorms in Gregg and Harrison County, but the outflow rushed out. You can see that right there and the wind and the storms rather died out very, very quickly. Now let's go ahead and talk about those high temperatures that we saw today. I did see some triple digits for Lufkin, Nacogdoches, Henderson, Longview and Tyler. So we're adding to that triple count once again. And anytime we don't see rain, folks, we're likely to see temperatures at least in the upper 90s or lower 100s. That's just how the weather setup is right now. But if we do see the rain, conditions are much better. Temperature wise, we're at 83 in Longview. Winds are east southeast at 10 miles per hour. Visibility, of course, no rain, which means it's full. Some 70s across our northeastern counties. We did see a little bit of rain for Morris and Cass County earlier today, and it's 80 degrees in Pittsburgh. But you notice, you know, where we did see the rain, including Atlanta, Texas, we're at 77 degrees there. It's 85 at UT Tyler, 89 at the airport, 87 at the Cherokee County Airport. It's 86 in Rusk. And then as you look further off to the south, more middle 80s in Deep East Texas, which did see quite a bit of rain in spots. Not everybody in Deep East Texas saw the rain today, but there were spots that saw a quick 15 to 30 minute downpour like Nacogdoches County. Now, we do have that Gulf moisture continuing to rise up into this boundary here, and that's what's triggered a lot of the shower and thunderstorm activity. We've seen reports of flooding over parts of Kentucky, St. Louis earlier this week, and also portions of Virginia, and we have just not been able to cash in on any of that rain. We've missed that front by about 100 or 200 miles. Now, if it was in our area, we'd be seeing a much different story because then we would actually have lift to really tap in to some of that Gulf moisture. By midnight tonight, we're not seeing much, just a few showers, a few sprinkles to our northwest. We get a break overnight. I would say we do have a better chance of rain as we head into tomorrow. You can see those bubble ups along the Red River and parts of our Interstate 30 counties. So hopefully we're able to squeeze out at least a little bit of rain from that. Isolated showers still can't be ruled out over the next few hours. We're down to about 77 by daybreak tomorrow morning. 97 for a high temperature for your Saturday, about a 30% chance of showers and storms. Here are your next seven days. Got us in the 90s, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Triples for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Upper 90s Thursday into Friday in Deep East Texas. We could see a few pop up showers and thunderstorms from that land sea breeze effect, which should keep our temperatures in the 90s. Katie? Carson, thank you.